Good morning everybody, it's Lorraine from PregnancyExercise.co.nz and welcome to the first of this week's live lockdown workouts and this is your pregnancy no equipment workout. Now yes it's specific for pregnancy but that doesn't mean everybody can't join in and do this. I will give options throughout. Okay, so no equipment, all right, no equipment whatsoever is needed for today's workout. If you're short of time and want to repeat the workout, you can do two sets, all right? So we're gonna do three sets this morning. Like I said, no equipment. We're gonna start off with a warm up, and it is our pregnancy specific or perfect for sleep deprived mums, mums who just want a little bit of an easier workout, but we're really gonna concentrate on core activation throughout. Now, if you have got bands, toddlers you wanna to put on your back, carry babies, you can do this also as well. But I do not suggest that you want to be carrying any babies or your toddlers after when you are 30 weeks pregnant. Please make sure you like and comment on all the workouts. Check out the schedule for the week. We are going live at 10 a.m. every weekday with different live workouts and at 2 p.m for events, so make sure you check them all out on the page. All right, everybody, we're gonna just start off with some nice step outs, warming up through the body, pop your arms in if you want to. We're gonna do about 20 to 30 reps, and then we're gonna do a kick blaster. All right, come on, let's do this. Woo! How are we all feeling? We all right this morning? Add some arms in if you want to. It's up to you. Let's go another 10, nine, yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I want you to stay on one leg, lift the leg up here. You can extend the arms out if you want to and it's kick back, good, yes. Now you can hold here for your transverse and we're gonna do about 15 reps. Now put your hand in your glute and make sure you can feel it, five, four, three, two, one. Step it out, let's go again. Warm it up. Now, if you're late pregnancy and getting a little bit tired, just take your arms out, not a problem. All right, the colder it is as well, the more you're gonna have to work to get warm. Let's keep it going. And I need to shake my legs out because I've just done a workout in the studio as well. And I'm feeling it. Eight, seven, six, Five, four more, yes, three, two, now we're gonna stay on this leg for those kickbacks, ready? So if, you're sure, if your balance is struggling, you can come down like this, otherwise, keep it up, good. Push, 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 now another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, bend that leg, two, last one, step it out, last time. You starting to get warmer? Yes. So we're doing about 20 to 30 step outs and about 15 kickbacks on each side. Come on, let's keep it going. And don't forget to comment that you're doing it, how many kids you've got, where you're up to, pregnancy, postpartum. Come on, where you're exercising in the world as well. If you're on lockdown, yes, six and what level you're on. They're all different in all our countries. Three, Two, ready, hold it, connect, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, five, four. Come on, everyone. Three, two, one. Let's go straight into the side now because we should be feeling warm enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, eight, nine. 10, five to go, four, three, two, one. Now you guys just step it out while I'm gonna show you the two exercises for the first set. Okay, what we're gonna do is a squat to a side leg lift. Squat, side leg lift. There we go, so that's gonna be your first exercise. If you've got any back or hip pain, just do your squat and leave out the lift. Second exercise, using your couch, everybody, 
you're onto your couch for your bridges. Perfect. Any stage pregnancy, any stage postnatal. Now, if I start to move too fast, you need to grab a breath. Just pause it, breather. You have a drink of water whenever you need to and want to throughout the set. Also as well, if you're struggling with your squats and your squat technique, use your couch as a guide before you lift up. That's really good, especially if you just balance with a little bit going as well. All right, everybody, are we ready for this first set? Of course we are. Let's do this. Okay, team, ready to sit back with the squat? And I'll go through your breathing and core technique as we go through. Ready? Squat down, lift. Now see the leg. I don't want you to take it out in front of you. It goes a little bit behind. Squat down, lift. Squat, lift. Drop, lift. Good. Now we're exhaling and connecting with our transverse as we come up and lift, good, down, lift, drop down, Woo, my glutes are feeling this, <laughs> four to go, exhale, drop down team, drop, connect, drop, connect and onto your couch for your bridges, get ready, okay, Legs at 90 degrees, check that. Back relaxed, drop down, lift, use your glutes. Two, now where do we connect? We connect here, on the way up, relax on the way down, okay? Hands where you feel comfortable, drop down and lift. Five to go, last four, three, Last two, last one, well done. Slowly come up, let's get ready to do it all again. Now don't forget these workouts are similar to what we have in our Fit to Birth Mum program, the pregnancy program, which anybody can join at any stage during pregnancy. Let your friends and family know. Use the coupon code LOCKDOWN through the next 10 days and you get a big 30% discount off and it's, you're going to be getting the brand new program. Good. Drop. Lift. Come on, drop down. Everyone drop down. Push into your heels, everybody. Let's work those glutes. Come on. And now I want you to pick up your pelvic floor. Good. Pick it up. Five to go. Yes. Think about that posture. Are your shoulders back? Exhale, two more. Good. Last one. Onto your couch. Hey, look, if you've not got a couch handy, you know, you can still do your bridges on the floor and again at any stage through your pregnancy. Good. Lift up. Exhale. Exhale, good. Another five. Four left. Three to go. Last two on the bridges. Last one. Relax. We've got one more set. Can you do this? Yes, you can. Come on, we've all got time. Again, if you're short of time and repeating this workout, you can do two. So it's drop, squat, lift. Drop, squat, lift. Excellent, everybody, you're looking so good. Come on, keep it going. Keep going with me. Good position. Sit back. It's really good if you've got sort of televisions around. So you can check, or mirrors. So you can check your posture and check your technique. Look at that nice side leg lift. Lift up. Where are we connecting? The connecting now. Good. Three more. Yes. You know if you want to add a weight, hold it here. Hold that weight there. Last one. And again, same for the bridges. Here we go. Bridges. Hands relaxed. Drop. Lift. Now everybody just check your hip bone. 
spines are staying level either side of your boat. Good. Lift up. Five to go. Last four. Three more. Last two. Last one. Well done. Just sit up. Slowly come up. Let's just have a little stretch of the hamstrings. Ooh, can you feel that? Stretch down to your toe if you want to. Good stretch. Change sides. Good. Are you ready? Have a little drink of water. Catch your breath if you need to. I'm going to show you the next two exercises. Okay. Using your couch or a bottom step, we are going to do step ups. Good placement on the way down. 10 on each leg. Then we're coming down. Now, if you're over 25-ish weeks pregnant, this is your option. And this is also your option if you've just had a baby. If you're less than 25 weeks, got good core control, you can come down and we'll do the supermans on the floor. All right? Two exercises. If you have not got a stir or anything handy, you can do 10 static lunges. <laughs> All right, I bet you're wishing you got a stir handy. Okay, now I'll show you. I'm going to turn to the back because I want you, we're going to start off. Now we push the heel down and this shouldn't happen. Ready? 10 on each leg. So we go straight up, body weight over this leg. Good. So we're using glute and transverse. See how I'm staying straight? We're not stepping out, girls. So use a step box, your stir, six, or your couch. Couches are great. Also increase stability because they're often soft. Eight, two more, so really good. If you're in trying to improve that ankle stability, change sides, ready, left side, good. 10 on each side. Now, if you want to make it harder, you know, take a weight up. But again, we're just showing you a non-equipment workout, which we can all do at home. Five, six, also as well, seven. The later you get through your pregnancy, the strength at workouts. Last one. I'm going to go on the floor for this set. Start to become a little bit more cardio. Right. Superman's done properly. Knees hip width apart. I nearly said feet shoulder width apart. <laughs> Hand shoulder width apart. Let me come up a little bit. Elbows slightly bent, never hyperextended. Slightly bent. Deep breath in. Exhale, TA. Lift, thumb turned up. Okay, really important, thumb turned up. It sets your scapula. And you think more about control. Here we go, lift. We're going to do 10 lifts. I don't want you to drop your head. And I want you to look now at your pelvis. And is it staying level? Make sure that hip doesn't drop to one side. So we're connecting glutes and core. It's exactly the same on your couch or your wall. Lift. Well done, everybody. Let's go another four. So we're exhaling. The whole time we're moving, we breathe in and reset here. Good. Two more. Last one. Now, guess what we're going to do now? Everybody's favorite. Little child pose, back stretch. Feel it. If you are pregnant, come up slowly. Keep your head above your heart so you don't go dizzy. And we're ready. Second set of step ups. Let's do this. Heel, glute, core. Good. Three. Five. Six. Are your shoulders nice and relaxed, team? Seven, good, use that glute, eight, two more. As you can see, I'm lifting my knee up, last one. It just depends on 
on your balance, okay? Up you get this. So this, especially the heavier you get in pregnancy and a lower step. You can start off higher than this as well, up to about 25 weeks. Just depends where your own confidence is, and especially if you've been doing them for a long time. Two more, maybe three. Yeah, let's do two more. Last one. This time I'll do the Supermans on the couch for you. So elbows bent. Good. Exhale. Choose your option. So good to work in extension through your pregnancy. Really think about lengthening out, girls, through your back, through your spine. Don't get to do it too much. Extend. Six more lifts. Keep those elbows bent. Good. If you want to, you can check as you take the leg out that you're zipping up your transverse. Well done. Good, three to go. Last two. Last one. Good, if you want, get a little drink, a sip of water, and we're just about to start the last of the step ups. Come on everybody. Again as well, you can add weights to this, either side or hold here. Up to you. Lose that glute. Strength. Good. Knee, ankle, straight line. This is six. Are you working your transverse as you go up? You should be. Transverse there. Eight. Two more. Last one. Change sides, team. Up we go. Push into the heel to connect with the glute. If you push into the heel, you're going to connect with your glute better than being too far forward on your foot. I think that's four. So drive that knee up. If you're, you know, less than 20 weeks pregnant, postpartum, working more on the balance. Two more. Last one. And let's get ready for those supermans before we go into the final set. How are you all doing? Are you okay? Come on, everybody. Such a cool little workout. Easy to do at home. No equipment work, no equipment needed. Just like we have a whole section, changes every three weeks. No equipment workouts in the fit to birth month. And we also have the equipment workouts. Changing every three weeks for you guys. Come on, right up until that last trimester. Then the last one has 36 to 40 weeks. Come on, all brand new videos. Great workouts for pregnancy, preparing you specifically for all the challenges. Exhale. Good. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Okay, are you ready for the last exercises? I'm going to spin you around a little bit because we're going to use your couch. All right, or you can use a chair. Hi, Naomi. Okay, we are going to do. Tricep dips. Okay, bent or straight legs. Completely up to you. And then the second exercise, really good to get you off your wrists. We're doing a side plank. Can you guys see me? I'll just move that so you can see me with the. We're doing a side plank like this. Okay, later pregnancy, you put the an um, anchor yourself down and drop and lift. So up until about 25 weeks, you don't need that. And we can stretch up as well. Okay, let's see if I can come a little bit further forward. It's just because the couch is black and I've got black on today. Can't see that contrast, hey. All right, get ready. 10 triceps. All right, bent or straight. Let's do this, drop down and lift. Drop, lift, drop, lift, good. Exhale, now keep your chest up, keep it up, good, four to go, three more, last two, yes, last one, well done everybody, now let's go, elbow for these planks, alright, so easy option, little bit harder, 
knees further out is a lot harder. All right, so pregnancy, knee closer in and down, lift. For everybody, stretch up. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry guys for being black, there you go. Good, drop down, lift. A Little bit harder, good, drop, lift. Stretch up team. How are you feeling? Yes, four to go. If you wanna make it hard, you can help keep the leg out like that. There's lots of options for this exercise, I love it. Last one, change sides, go through. Ready, anchor, late in pregnancy, come further in, drop. So you're connecting throughout the, so you connect, breathe in, connect, breathe in, good. Excellent. Eight, nine, last one. Also, I just want to show you just before we move into that second set, if you've got um, sore wrists, do these for your tricep. So it's forearm and push. So you're not on your wrist for too long. You can do those. All right, ready? Triceps, let's go. All right, now why do we do triceps, pregnancy specific? It's because you can be pushing baby out in this position, and also you're gonna be pushing yourself up and out of bed a lot, and if you've had any stitches, episiotomy, C-section, it's really good to maintain this arm strength so you can use your upper body to take the pressure off your stitches while they're healing. So important to keep this upper body strength and in this tricep position. Two more. Woo! Last one. I forgot what we're doing. Side planks. Ready. We're nearly there, everybody. Are you ready for a stretch? Come on, stretch that fingertip up. Good. Four. Come on, everyone. Six. Seven. Yes. Eight. Last one, turn it round, away you go, good, three, four, five, we'll go straight into the triceps, eight, nine, last one, wow, come on everyone, let's do these triceps, bent or straight legs, make sure you've got room for your bump, ready, go, one, Two, three, push, chest up, come on. Five, six, seventeen. We are so close now. Last one. Let's do these last set of side planks. How are you all feeling? Are we all okay? Drop, lift. So don't forget, you can join that Fit to Birth Mum program at any stage during your pregnancy. You'll love it. Let your friends and family know, pregnant friends and family. Woo! Pregnancyxz.co.nz and fit to birth. Good. Four, three, two more. Last one. Everybody change. Turn around and we're going to get ready for a nice stretch. Two. We've already stretched our hamstrings. Six, seven, eight. Nine, last one. Let's turn to the couch. Stretch back. Come on, take those knees out. Stretch back. Feel that nice stretch. And then just come up. Really, really important pregnancy stretch. Hip flexor stretch. Feel that. So I don't want you to sway forward like this try and think about tucking under and opening this part so important to keep this area flexible to help baby get in a good position hold that and then what we're all going to do is reach up and take it over so lift that shoulder up take the hips away and stretch out Let's do it the other side. Change legs, open up, feel the stretch in your hip flexor. 
ready, stretch up, take it over, come on, feel a nice deep stretch there, good, and then what you can do again is sit in a 90, 90 stretch, so back legs at 90 degrees, front legs at 90 degrees, and just come down to the point where you feel comfortable, shoulders back, Feeling the stretch in your glutes. You probably can get down a lot further than me. <laughs> well done, everybody. Change sides, flick over, go the other way, as you can see here. So both legs are at 90 degrees. Turn, row chest, take your chest round. So your chest is almost over the knee. I know you've got your bump here, so that's probably where you'll stay. Good. Your bump's a little bit smaller, edge down. Come up to the center, bring your feet together, push your heels together, arms behind, and just lift up and feel that nice adductor stretch. Just lift up from your chest, push your pelvis forward, knees down if you can, just feel that nice stretch. Don't overstretch. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining in this morning. Hope you all did. Well done, Annie. Thanks, Naomi. Thanks, um, Abby. Don't forget, every morning over the next, um, next week and the following week, live at 10 a.m. every morning with different types of workouts and also going live at 2 p.m. for an event. Thanks, everybody. I will see you all soon. Bye.